our land area where you're standing on the beach. We have our sea grass. We have our sea floor podium. Our colors from salt green to the turn of the blues and on their beach mural. And there's lots of neat details on the outside. with oysters into it from local oysters. And then the planters up here are like the pearls that are in the plants. And then we have the shells here and then you have the nautiples that flow through the bar.
Yes, so uh, we wanted to add a beverage that created a sense of place for us here at the Grand Floridian. And out in the courtyard, there's that really nice kind of bronzy pineapple fountain, and there's a big pineapple on top. So we created a version of the Dark and Stormy with a charred pineapple and clove sample syrup. It has these really pretty um, golden amber hues, a giant thick um, rectangular piece of ice that floats in the glass of creates an ombre and a dehydrated uh, pineapple that sits on the top. So it kind of creates a little sense of place with that, but there's nice like smoky and charred flavors from the syrup. And then where you see the berry pueblo is made with fresh chantilly cream, fresh berries into it with like a lemon custard. And then also at the bottom here, where you see the pineapple burgers, it's uh, got a pineapple flavor, almost like an upside down cake pineapple flavor into it. And it's infused with a raspberry into it with a blackberry ice cream inside. Alrighty, this is what I was talking about. That bring back memories of when you just got to the Virgin Cocktail. Then you have your almond encrusted cheesecake and the coral gives you the sign of the sea. And then this is the very 